Thank you, Mike. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration says that 107,000 people died from illicit drugs last year and two thirds were due to fentanyl. 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani explains why today's regional conference of federal agencies held in Owasso hopes to help Oklahoma law enforcement and the public crack down on fentanyl. We need you. We cannot do it alone. Despite this news conference from officials in federal and state law enforcement, Wednesday's regional family summit on fentanyl is not solely about the prosecution of drug traffickers and dealers. It's an appeal to families, educators, and peers as the overdose crisis rages on. To give a baseball analogy, we're at the top of the second inning when it comes to fentanyl and how it's affecting our country. Drug use has a stigma. Fentanyl is 50 times more powerful than heroin and 100 times more powerful than morphine. One pill can kill, um, but we're also saying if you need to connect to treatment, there are opportunities to do that. That's why the DEA, the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics, and several U.S. attorneys chose Owasso for the summit. Oklahoma, they say, ranks among the deadliest and most trafficked states when it comes to fentanyl, but also has the most potential. The resources for Oklahoma are through the roof. The summit also embraces those we've lost, says Shelby Salazar, the surviving sister of former Jones football star Ty Hughes. Salazar started the fentanyl awareness organization talking about Ty in his honor. There's so many aspects to who Ty was and his death that I think is so helpful to other people. From him being overprescribed opiates at one point in his life to also just battling with chronic pain. Salazar hopes lessons from summits like this spread faster than the drug itself. We can try and decrease it, but it's not going to stop. The more Oklahomans can become knowledged in these resources, we can at least hopefully start combating some of the deaths. In Owasso, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. Thank you, Samson. You can learn more about talking about Ty and the resources available in your community by clicking the links in this story on KGRH.com.